Hi guys, I'm going to be covering how to reset the SRS light or the airbag light after an accident. Especially if you want to do this yourself. I got a new 2017 Honda Accord. I got this used off of auction and as you can see, it's been in an accident. Driver airbag has deployed and you have the light for the airbag or for the SRS unit on on the dash. In this video, I'm going to cover how to properly fix the supplemental restraint system or the SRS in the car after an accident so that the airbag light goes off. I'll give you a quick tour of the car. I'll cover how to identify the different components of the SRS system that need to be fixed or replaced. I'll also cover the anatomy of the SRS system. And then finally, analyze what happened in this accident and how I'm going to be going about fixing those. Now let's get this. So just to give you a quick tour of the exterior of the car, the impact was mainly here. Front grille is missing, aligning of the hood as well. However, with just a few touches of bodywork and everything is fixed. So a new grille, the rear was not involved in this accident. So that's it for the exterior, back to SRS issues. So the first thing you need to do is to identify the components of the SRS system that are bad or that would need to be fixed or replaced. Your SRS system is made up of a number of critical components. The seat belts, airbag and its inflator, you have the crash sensors. Crash sensors detect sudden deceleration and then inform the ECU to deploy the airbag depending on which crash sensor is affected. So you have crash sensors in the front for front impacts, you have at the side as well for side impacts and for deployment of the side cottons. You also have the SRS control unit that controls the whole thing. Also often neglected are the passenger seat weight sensor SWS. It's also been called the occupant detection system. The function is basically to detect whether there's someone in the passenger seat it also varies the force of deploying the airbag based on the weight of the occupant as well as the position of the seat and things like that. And then all of these components are linked together by a wiring harness. Any break in any of these components will lead to the airbag light coming on. So that said, the first thing you want to do is to scan the car with a scanner that has access to the SRS module. It should be able to give you the codes that are there or basically tell you the parts that have been damaged. So yeah still getting this renewed subscription alert yeah so the first thing go to diagnostics you select your vehicle so i'm using the hotel maxi pro yeah just select the vehicle us so and it's decoded the vin automatically yes 2017 accord just say yes so we'll go to diagnostics we would go to control unit and go to SRS. The engine should not be running, but the ignition switch should be on. Yes. So the first thing we want to do is to read codes. Let's see what's stored in this. Basically two trouble codes or two DTCs. Open or increase resistance in the driver's airbag first inflator. Open or increase resistance in the driver's airbag second inflator. So this is very good news for me. This minimizes the number of components I'm going to be replacing. And it also tells me that the occupant of the vehicle when the accident happened was not wearing a seat belt. It also tells me there was no one on the front passenger seat. For comparison, here is the SRS section of a scan report that I did previously on a car. Both passenger and driver seat belt pretension has deployed as well as the airbags. The right front impact sensor is also likely damaged as you can see. These days a lot of manufacturers say their crash sensors reset automatically after an accident. Hence, no need to replace except if the crash sensor itself is damaged. Either way, a good scan tool will be able to detect defective crash sensors. SRS codes that are triggered from the activation of crash sensors set hard codes in the SRS module and this is why they can't be cleared by regular scan tools. Regular scan tools can only clear soft codes. Those are every other code in the SRS module that is not coming from the, the activation of a crash sensor. For example, if your seatbelt buckle switch is broken. To clear hard codes, you would either need to 
flash the SRS module or to have it replaced. I'll leave a link in the description to a very affordable service that clears hard codes from the SRS unit. I think it costs about 50 bucks instead of having you buy a brand new control unit. So to restore the SRS to factory state and clear the airbag light after an accident, the steps to take are scan the SRS module and identify components to fix or replace. Fix and replace all these components including deployed airbags or defective items, seat belts, etc. Delete the crash data from the SRS module or replace the module itself. Recalibrate the seat weight sensor or the occupant detection system. And finally, reset the SRS module using a regular scan tool. So to recap, the work I'm going to be doing on this car are replace the driver airbag, replace the front crash sensors. I already bought them in anticipation, although I don't have any codes for them, so I'll just keep the old ones. Either flash or replace the SRS module. And finally, initialize the occupant detection system or the SWS seat weight sensor. These videos are going to be coming as soon as possible. If this will be of interest to you, you can hit that subscribe button as well as turn on the notification. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. If it was, do give the video a thumbs up, share, comment, and catch you on the next one. Cheers.